how can we find the perimeter of this equilateral triangle given three equal circles, each with the radius of five units? We know that the perimeter is the sum of all three sides in this triangle, and because this is an equilateral triangle, all three sides are equal. So, if we could find one side, we will multiply it by three, and we will find the perimeter. Now, to find one side, this is what we will do. From the centers of each of these two circles, we will draw two perpendiculars down to the bottom side of this triangle. Then, if we look at this line segment from this point to this point, the length is 10 units because this is the sum of the radius of one circle and the radius of the other circle. Now, let's see how we can find the length of this line segment. For this, we will connect the center of the circle with the vertex of the triangle. Then what we have formed here is a right triangle. Now, because here we have an equilateral triangle, then each of these angles measures 60 degrees. Then, because this angle measures 60 degrees, half of it will measure 30 degrees. And we know that this is half of 60 because if we have a circle, and a point that is outside of the circle, and if from this point we draw two tangents to this circle, and we connect this point with the center, then this line segment splits this angle into two equal angles. And now, in this right triangle, if this angle measures 30 degrees, then this one measures 60 degrees. And what else we know about this right triangle is that this side is 5 units because this is the radius of the circle. And now, let's recall the relation between the three sides in a 30, 60, 90 degree triangle. So here to the right, we have a 30, 60, 90 degree triangle. And if in this triangle the shortest side is x, then the hypotenuse is 2x, and the third side is x multiplied by square root of 3. This is the relation of the three sides in this triangle. In our case, the right side is 5, then the bottom side will be 5 multiplied by square root of 3. And now, if this line segment is 5 square root of 3, then this one is also 5 square root of 3. Once we have these three numbers, we will add them together, and we will get the side of the equilateral triangle. 5 square root of 3 plus 5 square root of 3 makes 10 square root of 3. Then this side will be equal to 10 plus 10 square root of 3. And now, once we know one side, we will multiply it by 3, and we will find the perimeter. So the perimeter equals 3 times 10 plus 10 square root of 3. If we remove the parentheses, that will be 30 plus 30 square root of 3. And if we approximate it using a calculator, that will be approximately 81.96 units. I hope you liked this problem and the solution. Please subscribe, leave a comment, and thank you for watching.